y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. Happy New Year. The company I'll be working with today is Icy Hair. They sent me over this straight 16 inch lace front HG wig in 16 inches. These are all the goodies that came inside the packaging. This wig is a 13 by four lace. It comes with four combs on the inside and an adjustable strap in the back. The HG lace is HG lacing. It's real HG lace. And the knots were not huge. And the hairline came pre-plucked, so I can really appreciate that because y'all know I hate huge knots and HG lace that really be transparent. But no, this lace was HD, for real, for real. <laughs> no shedding, period. Let's get into this look. So today we're gonna do, um, I guess you could say this Shego inspired look. Um, I knew I wanted to do a bob, that's why I asked for them to send me a 16 inch. Um, I know a lot of y'all be like, why get a 16 inch if you just gonna cut it into a bob? I love to start with longer hair and then cut it into the length I want it to because when you get the exact length of the bob you want, the ends tend to be thin and I hate a thin end bob because it just be looking so ate out. I like my bobs to be full, and when I mean full, like the hair strand from root to tip. I don't like a super thick, thick bob, but I don't like for the ends to be thin either, if you get what I'm saying. Girl, let me stop talking too much. Let me get into this color. So I separated um, a couple of rows out the back, braided that out the way. Everything on the top of that, I'm dying that jet black. Y'all know I hate the natural, um, 1B2 color that wigs come. I just prefer jet black. It just shines better. It looks more expensive. And it just hits different. I mean, if you know, you know. Y'all know. So I dyed everything jet black on top. Um, I haven't bleached the knots or anything yet. I just dyed the top jet black first. Um, I used my Just 5 jet black. Y'all, this is like the best jet black dye you will ever find. Like, when I say this stuff works in five minutes, like, it literally works in five minutes. Like, you put it on, let it sit for five minutes, it is ready. It's black. It be black as I don't know what. And it lasts. Like, so shout out to you, Just Five. That is, like, my favorite black dye, period. After that, I rinsed it out with warm water and um, dish detergent, and I made sure I left the back braided up. So now we're gonna put the top out the way and we're gonna focus on the back. For the back, we are going to bleach this because I want the uh, underneath and the bottom of the hair to be a green color. So I'm taking my BW2 with my 50 volume developer. Make sure you make your consistency kind of thick. You do not want it watery because it's not gonna live um, on one um, try. I love to just bleach hair one time because, girl, I'm going to just be honest with you. I don't like bleaching hair. Y'all know I prefer to just dip my wig in a bucket, but with stuff like this, you have to be precise. So you just, I mean, you can dip the back in the bucket in the bleach water, but I prefer to paint it on. You'll get a higher lift. So I'm painting it on, making sure I get all in the crevices and the creases and everything, opening up the tracks because you don't want no splotchy color. And um, I just made sure I combed it all the way through to the ends, making sure I just like overly saturated the hair and bleach. And that's what I did. And what I did show on camera, I don't, I'm not sure if I did or not, but after I saturated everything in bleach, I did put the hair in foils just so it can, you know, heat up quicker, process quicker, and you know, potentially lift higher. Um, because like I said, y'all, I'm lazy. I do not want to bleach this hair, rinse it out, blow dry it, and bleach it again. Number one, you risk breakage. And girl, who got time for all that? I'm trying to bleach this hair on one try and light as it can go, okay?
And I let this sit in the foils for about 20 minutes and then I rinsed it out with warm water dish detergent. Uh, I'm not sure if I used purple shampoo. Um, I probably did use purple shampoo. I'm not sure, girl. I think I did though. And the color we're using today is Adore Green Apple. I find that this is the best green color to use for when you're bleaching black hair, um, when you're lifting black hair and you want your green to actually show and it not be like a doo-doo green or a ashy green. I feel like this really accepts the color really well, even if you're, even if you didn't lift your hair light enough, it'll still show that it's like a green. You know what I'm saying? So I find that Adora Green Apple is the best. Um, um, the hair is, look at me, um, um, girl, get it together. <laughs> The hair was wet while I applied this adore, so make sure you fully saturate it. I know you probably think only one bottle is needed for the back, but girl, get two. Because when the hair is wet, wet for some, look at me double saying my words. Let me find out I need speech therapy. Okay, girl. Okay, let's get it together. Okay. So, you may think that you only need one bottle, but for some reason when you're using Adore dyes and the hair is wet, I feel like the color just don't be sticking on for some reason. So I feel like two bottles is definitely necessary. Like I go in, I apply it all over, I party, apply it on the roots, comb it to the ends, and then I go back in and I keep applying more until I can visually see that the hair is grabbing the color. Now with Kiss Colors, I feel like it grabs on way better, but we wasn't using Chris. Not Chris, girl. I'm just, I'm over it. <laughs> Let me just leave voiceovers in 2021. <laughs> but with Kiss Colors, um, they grab on better, but we're not using Kiss Colors today. We're using the door, so you got to saturate. You cannot rush this because if you rush it, it will look like you rushed it. And we are back with my girl, Jay. We finna get this wig installed popping. I'm not gonna talk too much during this. You know, I'm gonna take me a little break because clearly I need me a break from speaking. <laughs> but y'all already know I use lace melt adhesive maximum strength for layers. Y'all know I'm gonna pop back in, you know, do a little talking. And if I did let you all know, I did let that adore color sit on the hair for 30 minutes. And then I rinsed it out with cool water, the coldest, not cool, but cold water. The coat is you can get from the faucet and I just applied some silicone mix on the entire wig and that was that. And I also did bleach the knots and puck it if I didn't let y'all know that too as well. But you know, girl, I think y'all figured that out. Control has never been thing. Don't think that I ever did a ring with a rock and where I'm from, they serve the soul to clean. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks and how the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you pull it vegan, but still be filled with me? And how the fuck you swing so many beaches? Tickets to them places don't come cheap. I see it back in search, remember who took it first, so don't you get it. That's your whip, you ain't got back on shit. I had it to air, go get it. I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last. I feel like you take it for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handled it. I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Man, you're not in the streets with nothing around you. Take your Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Thank you. 
Today we're doing another no baby hair slay. I just felt like it didn't need them. And girl, that hairline was given as you can see. I sprayed my hairspray and I'm using my ultimate melt belt from Beautiful Hustler. And we finna melt that lace on in some more. I did go ahead and press the hair off camera before I started cutting. Make sure you press your hair like fully flat iron before you cut your bobs. That way you know exactly how your bob is going to look. Um, I mean, you can cut it by blow drying. I'm not going to say that's wrong because different people do hair different ways. However, I like to, you know, have a clean, you know, silky canvas to know exactly what's going on. That way, when I go back in and press it after it's cut, I'm pretty much done. So I'm just doing a basic blunt cut straight across. Nothing major. Just make sure you're being very precise and sharp with your, I guess, the snaps of your shears. <laughs> The cut of your shears or whatever and you know make sure everything is clean like don't rush this process i love to stand my clients up when i'm cutting bobs because sitting down just not gonna cut it like i just need to see like i don't know i just need to see what you're standing up i don't know sitting down cutting bobs just really never worked for me unless you get like a side part to where everything doesn't have to be even or you get like a little layer bob or whatever but um if it's a middle part blunt cut where everything has to be symmetrical girl i am standing you up so, you know, yeah, let's get into it. The bob is cut. I did the same thing on the other side. I know I didn't show y'all. Um, I do have a more detailed blunt cut bob tutorial on my channel. So, you know, check that out. Um, right now, I'm just using my two inch flat irons to just give a slight bevel in the ends of the hair. <laughs> um, I mean, I do like a pin straight blunt cut bob, but I just feel like when you give it that slight bevel in the end, it just make it scrumptious. <laughs> Shout out to the side effects. <laughs> And yeah, we just gonna give a slight bevel all over the hair. And girl, we are done. No baby hairs. We ain't gotta 
Nothing. Just straight, simple, and to the point. But still very much so giving creative. Period. I mean, just get into the look. Hairline, no baby hairs. Part is laid, crisp. The hair is flowing. The jet black is popping. Girl, put the hair behind your ear. Let them know the hairline tease is real. And when she's swinging, that green go peek through. Hey! It's giving very much slime action. Don't play with it. Period. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this, even though it was getting on my nerves while I was coloring it. Because, girl, you have to be so tedious, but... I had fun and it turned out so cute. And thank you, Jay, for being such a great model, period. Make sure you check the description box for more information on this wig. I love y'all. Goodbye. Happy New Year.